off the corner. Green flag is out, down the front shoot. It is Dancer jumping out in front as he got the jump on Schulich. Look at Keith Champagne, three wide. Three wide and Schulich touches the wall back there. Got a little bit too hot coming out of turn two and brushed the outside wall just barely. Here they come down completing lap number one. It's Dancer out in front. He does the slingshot out of turn number two. Gets underneath Sinderley down into the third turn. Sinderley has to give him room. Schulich takes over second. Dancer on the inside. Schulich hauling around it easily on the outside, but Dancer battles back. Dancer hangs on to the lead. Schuller stays alongside. Schulich digging hard in that high road, down the back, shoot into turn three. Dancer on the inside, Schulich the outside. Barnes running in third, Schulich cannot make the pass. Slingshots off the corner, down to the inside, and he made that one work. As Dancer tries to get back to the inside, can't do it. Schulich takes the lead with a beautiful slingshot move here in lap number six to take the lead from Dave Dancer. Yeah, I'm just wondering, uh, is that, is that, is and, that uh, axle bent back too? It looks like the axle's the back end of the side rail. Yeah, it could be. The tire. He did run into the back end of the 01 down here when when uh, Connor's bogged down. Yeah, he's, he's gonna need, looks like an axle, nose wings. Otto trying to make a run here at the end on the 55 of Champagne. Can't quite do it as Danzer sits in behind him running in the number five spot. Checkered flag is out, Schuller gets the win. Barnes across in second, Champagne third, Sinderley fourth. Ladies and gentlemen, DJ Schulick. It's never easy. You got a good feel of the cars behind me. The 68 and the 55 are really good. Um, just, you know, I probably used too much, self admittedly, but I didn't know where they were and I was just making sure we got one. And whatever comes in the second one, I think I got to start 12th. and. We'll just give it everything we have, and whatever's left is left, and hopefully it's enough. They come pulling into turn number four. Green lights are on, and down they come. The leaders touch together, but Patrick scoots out to the number one spot. Jack Patrick leading, coming off at turn number two and down the back straightaway. Bruce right there in the number two spot. Danny Kay, what a good stretch run in the double zero car. He is riding third, but up by her on the outside lane. Dalton Doyle next in line coming over, and we got a car sideways down the front straightaway into the water barrel. Mike Bruce in car number 22, one of the cars involved, and the 01 of Dalton Doyle. Now taking a run down on the inside, Cliff taking a look down there. It's uh, Danny Kane dropping back to the number three spot. Schulich running right there in the number 67. Dave Cliff right there in the number three spot. Patrick again going quick right there in a the fast lane. But keep your eyes on Mike Todd. He real look, oh, and Mike tries the same move. He slides and then gets hit by the double O of Danny Kane. Kampuszynski with no place to go. Virtually no place to go. Mike tried the same move coming down onto the inside. And once again, Russ Brown tries to take advantage. And Russ Brown now sneaks to the inside. He has now picked up the number three spot. Russ Brown is now up to third. And he works down onto the inside of some slower traffic. Patrick back there in the number four spot. Oh, watching the replay. As they come off a of turn number four, scorers stand by. Down they come. The win going to Dave Cliff, Russ Brown second, Anthony Lasorto third, Jack Patrick fourth. Dave Cliff out of the car, gets the plaque and trophies, checkered flag. As far as race goes, uh, start eighth, and I got a really good start. I was lucky enough to get in a couple of the good lanes that were moving and this thing was just so good on the high side. I got by a couple of really good cars I wasn't expecting to up on the high side. Uh, and then lap traffic, we don't get into lap traffic a lot in this class and it, it was fun for a change and I felt like I had a pretty big lead so I really didn't want to see those yellows but uh, I'm pretty surprised we're here. We struggled a little bit early throughout the day like Anthony did too so it's really cool to be here.
up coming out of turn number four. Green flag from Donnie Forbes, and it is. Look at this, double zero, double O Joe getting down in there, and Pearly, what a move by Pearly. And he's gonna go in the pitch there. Gosick into the wall down here. There's a tire down into the front straight as Gosick, I believe a tire came off that car. All I saw was the sparks and he just went into the wall on the angle we're on, it's tough Pearly to tell. Pearly will take the lead over. Gosick way down in turn number four. He's coming out of the car, Joey's okay. There's, yeah, we, there's the tire. Yeah, the right rear tire came off as Joe came out of the corner. Big shower of sparks and around he went. Lucky Randy, he didn't get into the wall harder. Yeah, he scrubbed off at least where it came off. He scrubbed off a little bit of speed, but th there's still going to be a lot of damage in there. Literally, and Schulick right behind that green flag, he's out. And going high down in the corner, and somebody into the foam. That is Schulick. Schulick hard into the foam down in turn number three. Come on. He's moving around, he's moving around. Good to see. He's okay. Dave is okay, he's moving around in the car. But, in fact, he's already uh, starting to get out of the car, got the uh, Hans off. And here comes Champagne! Champagne made a move, looks like he's gonna go to the outside. Champagne hard on the outside, can't make it out there. Centerly coming down to the inside, two laps to go. Two to go, Pearly out in front. Randy said he would force him to go to the outside if he was gonna try to make a pass, he did. Jackard flag is out. Chris Pearly gets the win. How cool Chris is that? Pearly. Way to go, Chris. Awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Pearly, the Rally Rocket in victory lane without a wing. Obviously, a very popular win. Love Oswego. Love the fans. Uh, I've never been to this this race before, and uh, we had an opportunity to come out and play, and uh, I guess we just wanted to race, and we were pretty decent all day, and the first race, we just completely missed it and killed the tire, and we choked up on it bad, and I don't know, the, the car just stayed. I couldn't believe we had as good of a car as we did, because the tires were basically used up again at lap 25 of this one, and then Keith showed me the wheel underneath, and I don't know why the caution came out. I don't care. You got to love it, though. Oh, I was very, very happy. And, but I thought for sure he was going to go right by because he obviously has a lot more time on this track. And, uh, oh, that's nice. And, uh, you know, he's got a lot more of experience in the topless cars, and he's got a hell of a car. But uh, this little hot car held on, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm speechless to be in this club. I mean, really, this is, this is awesome. Just awesome.